my buddies. Welcome to a video with Kim Tech. My name is Hold it. I want to make an impromptu comment here. First off, I want to apologize for the lack of posting because I've been so busy creating the course and editing it that I haven't had time for anything else. And second is that this channel has passed 1,000 subscribers. Yay! Thank you so much everyone for your encouragement, subscribing, and pretty much your support. I really appreciate it and just want to say a big thanks to everyone. Okay, back to the actual content. Kim, today I want to announce that I have a course available on Into Migration using ADE, Automated Device Enrollment with Apple Business Manager for Fully Managed Devices, not BYOD. I want to thank everyone who asked questions on my ABM and Intune video because that is the driver for this course. Thank you so much, guys. In this video, I want to share what the course is about to help you determine if it's right for you. The course will have six videos, which I'm going to walk you through from the beginning of the project till the end. Let's first start with what this course is not going to be about. We are not going over every single config on Intune. That's way too mind numbing where I don't think it would make sense to have you sit through that torture. Microsoft has pages of documentation on what each config means, so you can use it to help you when it comes to the config. Also, because everyone's environment is different, it's really hard to set certain configs because there's no one size fit all, especially with device configurations. However, in the course, I do provide best practices from Microsoft and recommendations from my personal experience to point you in the right direction. I will also share some concepts for you to keep in mind in hoping to make the migration project a bit easier for you. Although we're not going through every single config, there are some configs that I will go over, such as app protection policies and how to set up an app configuration policy for the Outlook app. How about I show you some snippets of the course so you have a better idea of what it's about. Now for existing iOS devices with an existing MDM server. First, remove control from the existing MDM. Second, change MDM server on ABM to Intune. Third, check enrollment token to see devices and confirm enrollment profile. Fourth, wipe the device. Fifth, run through setup assistant. Six, device should now show up on Intune under devices after a few minutes. Seven, put device in the correct group, unless it's dynamic group, then just double check. Eighth, confirm if the iPad pick up all of the settings. And ninth, company portal should show up without having to sign into an Apple ID. First, add and verify a domain on ABM. Second, still on ABM here, configure it, but do not turn on your federated authentication. Third, go to preferences, select directory sync, select connect, next to SCIM. This is to configure ABM to support provisioning with Azure AD, which is now called Microsoft Entra ID. Leave this window open because you will need to copy the token and tenant URL, so do not close it. Then define who will be in scope for provisioning. Start your test with a small set of users and group before rolling out to everyone. So create a group. I have a group called Apple Business Manager Provisioning. Next, add Apple Business Manager from the Microsoft Entra application gallery. I already have it added, so I cannot add it again. Then we will configure automatic user provisioning to ABM. Edit the provisioning. If you do not have it open, go to Microsoft Azure Enterprise Applications, find Apple Business Manager, go to provisioning, provisioning again, copy and paste the tenant URL and token from ABM of step three, over to Intune. You can test the connection here to make sure it's working as it should. These location tokens are then downloaded from Apple Business Manager and uploaded in Microsoft Intune. Intune supports uploading multiple location tokens per tenant. Each token is valid for one year, so please note to update this manually. 
To upload an Apple VPP or Apple Business Manager location token, first sign in to your Intune Admin Center, Tenant Administration, Connectors and Tokens, Apple VPP Tokens. On the list of VPP Tokens pane, select Create. The Create VPP Token process is displayed on the basic page. Fill in the token name, Apple ID, upload the VPP token file. Last but not least, let's talk about conditional access policies, which can be configured from either Intune or Azure. Let's first establish what they are. Conditional access policies at their simplest are if-then statements. If a user wants to access a resource, then they must complete an action. For example, if a user wants to access an application or service like Microsoft 365, then they must perform multi-factor authentication to gain access. It's worth noting that conditional access policies are enforced after first factor authentication is completed. Conditional access is not intended to be an organization's first line of defense for scenarios like denial of service attacks, but it can use signals from these events to determine access. You can configure advanced settings in conditional access for more granular control, such as allow or block certain platforms or immediately block devices that aren't managed by Intune. Any device used to access Exchange on-premises is checked for compliance when device compliance and conditional access policies are applied. Since this setup is for fully managed company-owned iOS devices, we want to create a conditional access to block unmanaged iOS and Android devices to prevent data loss from applications on devices we may not manage fully. You can split it up into two conditional access policies, one for iOS and one for Android if you want, but I kept iOS and Android devices together here to keep things simple. And my environment allows for it. I know this video doesn't focus on Android, but the same idea applies to where you want to block any unmanaged devices to avoid someone from accessing your company's 365 accounts. Anyway, go to Devices, Conditional Access. This is the diagram of the flow. iOS devices are ordered. Your vendor uploads the device's info into ABM. Then the devices are set with an Intune MDM server on ABM these iOS devices will now show up on Intune where an enrollment profile will need to be set. Anyway, thank you so much for your support. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please click the thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to put it down below. Thank you again for watching this video and have yourself a nice day or night wherever you are, my buddies. Until next time, bye.